After all this time, I finally have them. YouTube viewers in the UK really helped me out with this one. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna catch some mice with these fun live catch mouse traps that just aren't available in the US. They're called the mouse can trap or cat can for obvious reasons. It's a lid that fits on a soup can with a trap door. And on the door is a face of a cat, two eyes, whiskers, and right in the middle is a cute little nose with three holes in it. That way the mouse can breathe. Now I've been trying to get my hands on these for a while now. And thanks to some fans in England, I now have two. They do sell these mouse traps on Amazon if you live in the UK, but they just won't ship to the US. But during question and answer time a few weeks back, I mentioned I wanted these and I received over 200 messages from YouTube viewers living in the UK offering to buy them and mail them to me. So that's how I got these. The fans are so great, thank you so much. I also have the other trap I wanted, the Gorilla Traps, coming in the mail. But these were the first to arrive. It's such a simple design. It just snaps on the lid, the mouse goes inside to get the bait, it closes, and they can't get out. We might be able to catch multiple mice even. I'm also curious if they can lift up the lid from the inside and get back out. I don't want any escaping. Now the traps came with some instructions. It says use a standard empty can. We recommend the ring pull cans as they have less sharp edges. Just like this. It's lunchtime, so I'm gonna eat some peaches and then we'll wash out the can. Yummy, yummy. Okay, lunchtime is over. Be very careful washing out the cans because they have a sharp edge that can cut you. Our mousetrap fits right on top. That snaps on very tight. Then you can lay it down. You put the bait in the back of the can. The mouse will come along, smell that, and climb inside. I'm curious if this is gonna work with real mice. We'll pull out Snowflake here. He's had a pretty rough life. He's tested out a lot of mouse traps. Let's see if our cream colored mouse will go in the cat can. It smells the bait. Well, that worked quite well. It smelled the bait, went in there, went through the door, and now it's caught. To release the mouse, all you have to do is lift up the door and turn the can upside down. Come on out. The mouse likes it in there. Well, the trap worked with our pet mice. Let's go set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can catch some wild mice. Good job, we'll go put you back in your cage.
Well, that was disappointing. When I went to go check our cat can mouse trap in the morning, it was full of mouse poop, but no mouse. All night long, the mouse went in, ate the bait, lifted up the door and climbed out. One time it got its tail stuck in there, pulled the can around, but for the most part, it was a mouse buffet. The two mice liked to fight too. One of them had a big lump on its back. That was a botfly parasite, really gross. I really wanted to test out the cat can mouse trap. It looked like a fun idea and I wanted to add it to my collection. So thank you so much to the viewers from UK. There's been lots of ideas for catching mice. This isn't one of the best. Question and answer time. Afternoon, Sean. What are some of the strangest things you've seen on your trail camera footage? Well, when you set up trail cameras, you catch things you didn't expect. I almost caught a mouse in a box trap once, but then a weasel came and ambushed the mouse and ate it. So I didn't catch a mouse that night. Also on several occasions, I've caught mice in mouse traps and then a skunk came and took everything. When I went to go check it in the morning, there was nothing left. And I used the trail cameras to solve a mystery. My kids were leaving their shoes on the front porch and something was peeing on them. It was gray foxes. They were coming by every night and marking their territory on my porch and my shoes. But you never know what you're gonna catch. Those are just some of the fun examples. Next question. Is there any traps that are illegal to own or use where you live? If you're gonna trap fur bears outside where I live, you need a trapping license and I don't have that. But if you're doing pest control in buildings, the rules are much more lenient. The one trap I was most nervous to make a video about because I don't think it's legal is based off a patent from the 1800s. There they made an automatic trap that shoots a gun into a rat. Now it's never a good idea to leave a loaded gun unattended, especially in a booby trap. I don't think that's legal at all. So I didn't load the gun, but tried it out. So probably that's the most illegal trap that I can think of, but I am working on a pneumatic nailer trap, a nail gun mouse trap. Could be fun. That'll be it for question and answer. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to Mousetrap Monday, please consider clicking the button right here. I'm posting new videos every Monday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.